Well, good morning. I wanted to continue talking about some of the topics I, I wrote in the articles last week. Yesterday, I did a video about Geospatial 2.0 and how that has moved on and really has become a commercial conversation, not a technology conversation. So the four elements of Geospatial 2.0, new multidimensional data, new platforms, digital twin platforms, immersion thanks to these new glasses, smart glasses, Vision Pro, and then AI, and that includes generative AI. So we've got really four elements that have come together. Now we have to commercialize this stuff. And I believe this is the start of an enormous geospatial revolution. Um, and I think that the Bentley, Cesium, Google partnership announcement that's been made over the last couple of weeks really, really brings all that stuff together. Uh, and I think that, you know, Bentley are leading from the front. But I wanted to talk about opportunities in this one. I spoke about this briefly in last week's articles. Blue oceans and red oceans. Some people have asked me what that means. Red oceans really where the GIS and the remote sensing industries work, work today. They, they fit into certain places within the public sector, within the infrastructure world. Certain departments is where they're focused. They sell into the GIS department. They sell into the veg management department. So there's a lot of companies that are competing in that sort of overcrowded space, if you like. Blue Oceans is this new world, which is where nobody's fishing, using that analogy. And I think that now we've got this perfect 2.0, geospatial 2.0 storm. We've now opened up this enormous world of blue ocean opportunities where we can actually model the real world. And I'll talk more about that in tomorrow's talk, but we're really moving from a world which is a two-dimensional world, which has been primarily where the GIS industry sat, which is really an abstract version of the world, still very, very valuable. But we're moving into a world where what I've been calling geospatial dynamic digital twins, where we're actually really re recreating the real world digitally. And we can layer all these different information sets together um, so more to come on this, but I think this is a really, I, I can't emphasize enough how over my 25 year career, this is one of the most amazing periods that I've ever seen. And we're only at the very, very beginning of realizing these blue ocean opportunities and solving real world problems. So I'll talk more about that this week, but I think this is a really magical time to be in the geospatial world.